Hey everybody, welcome back to Classics Are Better. I'm Travis. This is Cooper. And this is my new 68 Impala. So, new addition to the fleet. Let's check it out. You say hi. So, we're out at my grandfather's old house. Just inherited this 68 Impala. It is a four-door land yacht, but it's been in the family since brand new. Uh, he used to start it once a month just to kind of keep her going, but he had some health problems the last few years before he passed. So, it has been sitting here, as you can see, by the dust all over <laughs> Here's a little footage from the back. You can see the dust and age. Cobwebs on everything. See how this thing looks after good power washing. So here is the new car. It is a 1968 Chevy Impala. This car was actually bought new by my great grandmother in 68. But it's been sitting out at my grandfather's house. Obviously, it's a four-door, so it's about the size of a small school bus. Looked like the tow knocked a lot of the cobwebs off for me, but you can still see just straight dirt on there. All the filth. Looks like some paw prints. But this thing is pretty original. Yeah, you can really see back here. It has paw prints. More on the back window. My grandpa was a drag racer, so. But totally original car. Still has the same 307 it came with. And what's most amazing is this thing is a total survivor. Like, it is a little dirty, but it's perfect inside. I mean, you can see all this stuff is just great shape. My grandpa did add a tack, and he added some gauges, oil, battery, water, you know, just temperature, whatever. Um, still has the original radio. It's an AC car. So again, 1968, and since it's been in the family the whole time, I know for a fact that the 62,000 miles, or 62,414 miles, completely original. My uh, great-grandmother bought this again when it was new, and then she didn't drive it much. Her late 80s, early 90s, I think it was probably early 90s, they put her in a home, and then my grandfather just kind of kept this thing running, would take it for coffee and stuff every once in a while. But it is, like, even the headliner 
is pretty much perfect. It doesn't have a battery in it right now or I would try everything out to show you guys if it turns over, what lights up, etc. I guess we'll have to do that in a different video. But listen to this thing shut too. Like money. Sorry if you can hear that squeaking sound on my uh, neighbor's mowing. Check this thing out. Anyway, so we're going to get this one all fixed up. Oh, look, the original badge. Longhorn Chevy, Wichita Falls, Texas. That's pretty cool. Looks like the original spare white wall, which is pretty rad. But, I mean, it looks great in here. Nothing's messed up. You can see how pretty the blue was when it was original, so maybe it'll buff to be close to that. Even still has the jacking instructions, guys. So here is the motor. It's 307 small block Chevy. Has AC. Um, no battery, so that's something we can fix pretty easy. Um, looks pretty clean though. So manual brakes. Um, they do have power steering, so that's nice alternator I don't know that's probably not good uh, I see evidence of little visitors so there might be some nest inside the air filter uh, I'm gonna go through all of this stuff before I even try and start it I, a, an original motor with 62 K miles on it I want don't want to trash it unless I have no choice so anyway oh looks like it has had aftermarket distributor put in let's see what's in the glove box in this old thing no my grandpa it's probably everything it ever came with yeah that's something bunch of tire receipts stuff like that I won't get into it because the addresses or whatever but here yeah, this looks like the original window sheet if I can get it unfolded without destroying it I'll just do a half so, came from Longhorn Chevy Co. in Wichita Falls. Made in Arlington, so this has always been a Texas car. Impala, four-door sedan. Wow, a lot of options. Grotto Blue, tinted glass, AC, power glide, cool. Yeah, power steering at the wheel covers. It does have the clock. Looks like it was a grand total of $3,896 back in the day. Wow. 1968. What's up? That's really cool that this still exists. But it's got all kinds of stuff. I guarantee this is all like the original 68 owner's manual and stuff. Wow. That is just, I mean, it looks fake. It's in such good shape. That is just too cool. Too cool, my friends. Alright y'all, so it's all power washed up. Needs to have a you know good old soap cleaning, but not looking too bad, just knocking some of the, the age and dust off of it. As always, thank you guys for watching and thank you for checking out my new 68 Impala. More to come.